I move to a big crackdown on drugs. You're looking at some of the millions of dollars of heroin, cocaine and meth that was shipped by the Mexican drug cartel, all to be sold on the streets of Charlotte. The federal agents and local police spent months taking apart a major drug operation. Anchor Allison Lottis got exclusive access to this case and how authorities say they're working together to make Charlotte safer. <laughs> These tightly wrapped packages contain some of the 40 pounds of powerful and potentially deadly heroin shipped to Charlotte by the Mexican drug cartel. Uh, this cartel is, is one of the most deadly cartels in America, um, operating in America. How were they getting this much heroin to Charlotte? Various means. They were, they were bringing it into vehicles in hidden compartments. They oftentimes will use airplanes and put it in suitcases. DEA Acting Assistant Special Agent in Charge Dustin Harmon says the cartel also shipped 20 pounds of meth and 7 kilos of cocaine, all worth nearly $4 million on the street. There's not one neighborhood those drugs were destined for. The DEA tells me all of that heroin, meth and cocaine would have been sold across the Charlotte region. This unique case is the result of collaboration. The DEA task force of local officers, the SBI, and CMPD worked to take down more than a dozen suspects, some seen here, and authorities say many were in the country illegally. There are a lot of long nights, early mornings for these agents and detectives that are involved, and we understand that's what we have to do. Authorities say they're committed to fight the cartel and the growing opioid epidemic. Those are the drugs that are causing overdose deaths, causing a lot of pain and suffering and misery in the community, and we want to be proactive in doing everything we can to make sure that we stop that. The DEA says that there have been overdoses linked to the Mexican drug cartel, and they're also working with international authorities. The Charlotte case has led to charges in other states, including California.